click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the primary as well as the secondary structure of protein and now in this topic I am going to talk about the tertiary and the quaternary structure of protein. So what are those? Let me talk about that in this topic. <music> So friends, as we understand that is proteins are nothing but they are polymers of the amino acids and obviously they will consist of that is peptide linkage. So this kind of polypeptide molecules that is what it is called as protein so they can form various other structures so in this case i'm going to talk about tertiary structure in that case we understand that is because of this long elongated structure of the proteins or the long elongated structure of the polypeptide molecules what happens is there is a formation of a binding there is a formation of folding so in that case what will happen is a 3d structure will form and this 3d structure which has diverse shape which has diverse size so this kind of 3d structure of the polypeptides is basically known as tertiary structure of protein so talking about what are the functions and what are the bonds that are been involved in this so here basically there is a bond of hydrogen that is we also known as hydrogen bonding there is wonderful force of attraction there is also hydrophobic interactions so in that case because of all those interactions and because of this particular property of this polypeptide this gives a rise to the tertiary structure of protein so this was nothing but the tertiary structure of protein and now let me discuss about the next one so friends now let me talk about the quaternary structure of protein so proteins obviously we understand that are, there are various classification that is globular protein as well as that is fibrous proteins so in this globular as well as in this fibrous protein there is an interaction between the two parallel planes of the polypeptide molecules and this gives rise to a complex structure and that is known as quaternary structure of protein and that's it for now thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much